another video for you here. Uh, this one I think is really something that's very important to talk about and um, I think it's going to be really interesting so check it out. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Alright, here we are again in the car. Got a new look going, uh, trimmed up the beard, gonna try to grow it out a little different. Um, but let's get into it. So, I wasn't gonna do another one of these videos this soon, but, you know, just kind of felt... I really wanted to get it out because it's a part missing from part one of Who Am I and My Plan for TR Reptiles. It's because it needs to be its own video because it is, um, it's just too long. And I don't want this video to be too long um, because I kind of want to just get to the point. And the point is, I want to talk about one thing and that's negativity. The negativity in this hobby and the ball python hobby. Um, it's something that I absolutely don't like at all it annoys me and I was personally affected by it when I first started to try to get into this back in 2011 and I want to talk about that because I almost as you can tell by the title almost did not get in the ball pythons so back in 2011 um, doing all my research and stuff that I talked about YouTube was a huge um, place that I did research the internet and forms you know we have our Facebook groups today that I feel have kind of taken over the forms and stuff you have your, you know, specific groups, Ball Python, um, Blackhead, uh, Clown, Pied, Basement Breeders, Auction, Classifieds, World's First, whatever. Um, there's a lot of them out there. And I think that social media has really geared it more towards that. And that's really where people go. But back then I joined three forms, which was um, BallPython.net, Bush League Breeders, and the um, King Snake. So I really wasn't on one more than the other, just kind of a broad range and um, I mainly would just kind of read. I, I really didn't post a lot. I really just kind of read a lot of stuff that people posted, reading the comments, seeing what people said and stuff like that, um, especially if it was something that I was curious about the question. Um, but there were times that I did post questions, and what made me pose the questions was the negativity that I saw towards other people and what it is that they were saying and I don't have specifically what was said um, I don't remember my passwords or anything like that for any of that stuff it was so long ago but basically the general consensus was just being very negative about the hobby and about prices, about the market um, about whether people could sell stuff, about whether people should get into it. Um, you know, a lot of you, if you're tuned into this channel, you probably pretty much know what kind of negativity and negative comments I'm talking about. Um, you know, just an, as an example, a podcast that I listened to um, was an older podcast, but the host basically was saying that you know, he was at a show and he heard all these people complaining about the prices of bananas. And everyone knows that story, how they were really high prices and dropped. And it's neither here nor there because I'm not in that project, so I'm not going to comment about it. But if you know the history of it, you know what happened with it. It's still a great project to be in, um, never, nevertheless. But um, the, they basically said, you know, how many bananas do you have left? And he said, none. I'm, I'm sold out. What are you complaining for then? So exactly, what are you complaining for? You're sold out. So, you know, just complaining about that kind of stuff for the market, you know, to me, just negativity is just no good. It, it serves no purpose whatsoever. It is, it is like cancer. And it, it just, it just does no, it's just no good, basically. And a lot of the comments that I had seen, you know, I wound up went and posted something basically asking do people think this is something that I could get into because 
when you're getting in any hobby that you're getting into, I feel a lot of people are thinking, I could turn this into a business, you know, maybe still work full time, part time, maybe do it full time. And I think that's a lot of the thought that people have getting into it. It's definitely my thought, definitely my goal to do this full time. Um, you know, um, I, I'm a lot of people say you shouldn't do that because you're doing it, you need to do it for the love of the animal. I love my animals, and I take care of my animals very well. My rats are treated like royalty, and so are my snakes. Um, I'm constantly in there all the time, checking on them, checking on things, and making sure that they're good. So there's 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 no you know there's no problem there and that's a whole nother subject to get into about people saying that but anyway I basically posed the question that question and basically had people saying that if you didn't get into this four years ago before 2011 you can't make it you can't do anything and you know also I was told you know I'm I'm breeding basic stuff you know because at the time I you know the bumblebee was what I saw I wanted to breed passed out to a spider and you know make a bumblebee make my own, make my own bumblebee um newsflash people i was at a uh, reptile expo a couple months ago and saw people buying up a whole bunch of single gene stuff people buy it people hatch it for people to buy it you know it happens you're not going to always hit the odds you know if you're breeding a, a butter leopard to a pastel you know, yeah, you're using that single gene, you know, morph for a purpose, but also you might get all single genes, but people are going to buy them because that's how strong the market is today. And I have such confidence in this market, but, you know, basically all this stuff that was said to me, just me being a noob and being very new and not knowing any better and being naive and thinking that there's not going to be people in in this hobby talking negative about it when they're in it selling stuff i you know i guess i just was very naive and it really just affected me and it made me not want to breed them so when i stopped doing all my research and looking into stuff i said i'm, I'm going to do colubrids i want nothing to do with this i'm going to do colubrids and lizards and I'm glad I didn't because there's nothing wrong with colubrids or lizards, but I love ball pythons and I love my collection. I love what I am working with and I'm extremely happy with it. And, but it, it affected me. And to think back to that, it just really upsets me to think that I let that affect me. But, you know, it also, up, it, it just pisses me off too because it's like, some of those people are probably still in this hobby and they're still breeding, they're still selling, but they're still complaining. And who knows how many people they affected to not get into this because of their negative talk and because of their negative feelings, you know? Um, there's so many different projects that you can get into these days for a decent price. You could spend a thousand dollars, get maybe two females and a male and make world's firsts that's how much still there is to do in this hobby and i don't have a whole lot of experience on all this stuff i haven't sold anything yet as you guys know i haven't bred anything yet but this is how confident i feel about this because i haven't done any of this stuff yet and this is how positive i feel you know why because i surround myself with positive people and it is so important to do that. All my friends that I've made that are my friends slash mentors, I thank you all because you keep me going every day. You keep the positivity with me and I'm gonna pass on that positivity. That's the whole point of this video is it's talking about negativity, but it's to bring out the positivity of this hobby. That's so important to keep going because there's so much to do, you know, new people are getting in every single day and I don't know I, I just feel that the hobby is stronger than ever really and you know I'm sure a lot of these negative people are people that aren't in the ball pythons and I don't know why they hate on ball pythons I really don't know what the reasoning is there is this one person that has a YouTube um, channel and one of his videos is about 
why he doesn't want to breed ball pythons. That's fine. That's fine. You don't want to get into it. But you putting that out there, the amount of views you have on that is is it's just very, very disheartening to see because you have no clue how many people you possibly affected with that video. And in that video, they are so misinformed, it's unbelievable. They have no clue what they're talking about. No clue whatsoever. And, you know, it, it just really just pisses me off. Um, I'm not going to say what the video is. I'm not going to say the person's channel. You guys can search it on your own and look it up and uh, have your opinions on the video yourself. You know, give it a thumbs down, comment, whatever. You know, I certainly did. Um, but, you know, basically, you know, I don't know what it was that when I wanted to get back into this that said, well, screw it, I'm just going to do ball pythons. But I did. And, um, extremely glad I did, as I said. And, you know, when I got into it, I surrounded myself with people that are giving off positive vibes too. And I think if you're new to getting into this and you're watching this video, you need to do the same. You need to find people that are all about this hobby, positive people, people that aren't complaining every day and being negative about it and still being in it. And listen, if you're in it and you're negative, just get out. Just get out. What purpose are you serving but with your negativity? Because you're not at all. And, you know, might get some feedback, bad feedback on this video, and that's cool because, but this is just my feelings on it, you know? Um, this really affected me, and to think about it, 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 just, it just upsets me, basically. And I know I kind of keep on going over and over that again, but, and I didn't have a whole lot <clears throat> of quotes and experiences to say because it was so long ago, but I really just want to just, just, just let people know that, you know, any of these, these negative comments that you see, just, you need to just look the other way. You need to, to find someone, as I said, message them, someone you can talk to daily, someone that does not mind you messaging them and, and ask them questions. And, you know, some of the answers you're going to get are going to be very brutally honest and blunt. You know, I like to do that with anyone that messages me that asks any questions. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, but I'm going to put the whole positive spin on it. You know, um, you know, I don't, I just, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just, positivity is just so key and just so important. And I try to surround that in my life because I just don't see how you could be negative and just go through life. It's just beyond me. And that's just my feeling. I'm just, I'm very passionate about this. I'm very passionate about this hobby. And I want everyone to get into it. I want everyone to succeed. I want everyone to have success. And, um, you know, that's my goal. My goal is to do well in this, change things, put new stuff out there, just, just create quality and just awesome stuff. And, you know, hey, maybe do this full time. You never know what can happen. Um, but that's kind of my little rant on this, guys. You know, um, I hope you guys like it. Um, I hope, you know, that this maybe affected someone that, you know, maybe was experiencing some negativity and, and wants to get into this hobby. If you want to get into this hobby and you have questions, please message me. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. You can find me either one of those ways. Um, links will be in the description below. Um, just please message me if I cannot help you with any of your questions. I will definitely point you in the right direction. Um, so different little video, guys, little rant. Um, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like and comment. And as I said, you know, find me on Facebook and Instagram. And um, that's it, guys. Stay positive. Peace. Everything I used to dream in real.